Hey folks, uh, next episode here in the Protector Series, presentation from concealment, handgun presentation, some, what some people call the draw stroke. Handgun presentation is nothing more than a structured method of getting the gun in between you and the threat. Four steps or four counts. Now, as you get better, as you practice this, and all this is leading up to your dry practice, which is the next video in the series, and actually the last video in the series. This is getting you to be able to dry practice at home. So you're gonna start off doing this one step at a time, but as you get uh, more fluid with this and you practice, it's one continuous motion coming out, one continuous motion going in. So I'm gonna break it down for you step by step, all right? From concealment, because our handguns should be concealed while we're standing post. So, step number one in the handgun presentation is grip, or full final grip on the pistol, as if we were gonna fire the pistol from the holster. Now, we add something to and count one when we're concealed. So the first thing we have to do in count one before we get a full fine grip on the pistol is we're gonna take both hands and we gotta get this clothing out of the way. So here I've got a button up shirt. So I take both hands. I'm gonna reach at the bottom of that tail of that shirt and I'm gonna pull that up and get that out of the way. You notice as I pull this up to get this out of the way, the support hand is locked to the front of the body or my left hand, my right hand being my firing hand. Once the clothing is out of the way, and I've cleared the handgun, now my firing hand is gonna get a full firing grip on the pistol. Again, you'll notice where the support hand is, it's close to the body, so when the muzzle comes out of the holster, it's not gonna cover anything it's not supposed to, and you'll notice my elbow is not in here, I'm not chicken winging, this is gonna be back, pointing back behind me. This is count one or grip of the handgun presentation. Full firing grip on the pistol, you'll notice the meaty part is high up on the back, strike, uh, back strap of this blue gun. So count one again is grip. Full fine grip on the handgun. Count two is rock and lock, or what we call weapon retention. In count two and rock and lock, the support hand stays exactly where it's at. It ain't gonna move, folks. I don't wanna put this support hand in front of the muzzle. So what I'm gonna do in count two on rock and lock, I'm gonna bring that muzzle up. I'm gonna clear leather or plastic, and I'm gonna come up into the weapon retention position. I'm taking the pistol and locking it back here. That ejection point is canted out away from the body. You'll notice that my wrist is in contact with a pectoral muscle. So I want this back. I don't want this out here, it's back here. So if I needed to, I could fire the weapon from this position. Notice I don't have two hands on the pistol. I don't have isometric tension to control that recoil or to absorb that recoil. So because of that, I want this locked back. I want the ejection point pointed out. Obviously, female shooters have things that we do not in the way, so we wanna make sure that's away from that. And if you're wearing heavy uh, external body armor or like a coat, you want this out of the way so the slide doesn't get caught up into anything. So this is what we call rock and lock. So count one, full fine grip on the pistol. Count two, rock and lock. Support hand stays exactly where it's at. Count three is hands or hands come together. So really all I'm doing here is my support hand's gonna drop that shirt. And as I start to punch this pistol out toward the target, my support hand's gonna come into contact with that firing hand. So all that's happening is now I drop this down and this is gonna come into contact here to start to uh, obtain that two-handed grip, okay? Count four is on target or target. Now what happens is both hands bring that pistol out toward the target. As my sights are on target, I'm prepared to shoot. Obviously my finger goes on the trigger, starts to take up that slack and starts to press if that's necessary. So count one, grip, count two, rock and lock, three hands or hands come together, four target or on target. Now we're just gonna reverse it and take it back in the holster, okay? From here, what I'm gonna do is trigger finger comes straight here up on the frame of the pistol because now I'm about to take my eyes off the sights and I'm about to take the sights off the target. So from here in count four, I'm gonna come back here to count three where our hands or hands come together. From three or, hand, or hands position, now my support hand is gonna come down as I'm coming back into two. I'm gonna get that garment away from that holster and make sure the support hand's out of the way so the muzzle does not cover my hand or my support hand. From count two here in rock and lock where we're back, now I'm gonna go back into count one. Muzzle goes back down this way toward the holster. You notice I can look at it because if I'm going back in the holster, that means the threat must not exist. And then I'm gonna go back here into count one, which is full firing grip. 
support hands back in the center of the body. This is still out of the way, and I've got a full firing grip on the pistol. That is the four count presentation, folks. Okay. Uh, next video you're going to see is on uh, dry practice, how you do that. Put together all these last couple of videos so you can dry practice at home. All right. If you got any questions, email us, scott at michaelmansecurityservices.com. And remember, folks, it's about prevention, not response.